Teens are such good friends to us. You know, nobody even ever appreciates their teeth. They don't want to floss them, even though it only takes 10 seconds, you know. Nobody wants to brush their teeth. They think it's just such a pain in the, in the neck, and you know, they only want to have um, healthy teeth for fre fresh breath. You know, so they don't offend other people. They don't even think, you know, I was just going on and on in my head about, oh, teeth are such good friends. And then I was like, my name is Allison Martha Zank. My major is chemistry. And my funding is through Ergo. And my mentor is Dr. Sandra L. Myers at the University of Minnesota School of Dentistry. The story goes like this. We have mercury floating around in our atmosphere. Some of it's from natural causes, and then um, some of it is from probably from dentistry. You know, and we, as an industry, are very concerned with just making sure that our own side of the street is very clean and well taken care of, and we never want to be responsible for that. But what happens is when bodies are cremated, mercury is released out of their dental fillings, and um, nobody knows how much. There have been studies done by all types of engineers and mathematicians and material scientists and all these different people, but there has um, not been a lot of uh, actual study from the dental people. So the, the real question is, where is the mercury in the filling? And is it released when these bodies are cremated? And if so, how much? So what we wanna do is we want to find solutions for this problem, but before um, we can really find solutions for it, we need to have an actual value of how big of a problem really is it? Is it even a problem? Do we really need to do this? So that's my piece, is I was just looking and looking to see um, what is the amount? 